What's up, everybody? This is the start of Woo Crew for the Win segment in Strava Beast Wheel, baby. Your segment is going to start right here. You're going to go up this little rocky section. You're going to hope you don't spin out because you're going to stay light on your feet. And then you're just going to rip. This is pretty straightforward. You're going straight all the way through. You look over to the right. You're going to see the potential parking spots right there on Pleasant Street. Um, You're going to slow. No, nothing slow about this. You're going to rip through this entire section. Um, Just stay ripping. Um, Let me introduce myself, I guess, because I didn't do that in the start. I was too eager to start the segment. This is Jesse, uh, also known as Little One Wheeler on the social webs. Follow me, like me, whatever the hell you want to do to me. Um, so slowly going to be approached. <laughs> nothing slow, nothing slow. Second time I did that, I guess I'm nervous just talking to myself again. But uh, you're going to hit this jump. This is going to be a mandatory jump right here. And then you're going to take this left. There's going to be two options. The first left, inside left, is not what you're taking. You're taking the one closer to this church here. This is probably the most technical section right here. You get through that, and then you're gonna get a little bit of speed, and then you're gonna try to finesse your way through this. Uh, You can't really see it on camera. This is an uphill section that is very hard. I screwed up there. Uh, Very upset. I really wanted a clean run on the 360. Didn't get the clean run. You can hear I'm very upset. And then again, I'm taking that left. So there is an option to go right there at the top of that incline. You're taking a left. You're following this all the way through. You're going to hope you have a decent pace, staying light on your feet. I can't preach it enough. And again, pretty straightforward if I can maneuver the uh, navigation here. I uh, I think you guys will do just fine. Pretty gnarly, you can pick your own line. Obviously, pretty wide trail. Um, Again, there's an option to go uphill to the right. You're gonna stay straight. Um, This is technically a disc disc golf course. So I guess that's something to be aware of. We're not like, I don't think we're ever really cut through any of the uh, holes. You do see people out there. you'll get some pedestrian interference, but this is probably the um, quietest you're gonna get for a trail run. Um, And then at the end of this, there, I'm sorry, not at the end. There is another option to tuck away. Um, You're staying on the main trail until you get to the end. There's an option to go right, right there. You're again gonna take a left. So you're staying left. And this is your home stretch through the trail. This is pretty techy but you can rip right through it if you please. Uh, you know, I, this, is a, this, is, this is pretty exciting. Really excited to be starting this with such a solid crew. Um, I can't wait to see some of the times. Almost lost it there. Uh, very excited I stayed on the board. And just stay ripping, stay sending, stay shreddy. Send it, full send, baby. Down, 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 down. Not yet. Here we go. Find your line down. Here we go. And you're taking another left to end right at the bubbler right there. Boom. Home stretch. Here we go. Here we go. This is probably the most pedestrian interference as you will see coming up ahead, but nothing that you can handle. And this is going to make your way right back to the finish. I mean, I'm sorry, right back to the start and it'll be your finish right here, here, here.